Alright, so here's the uh, new astronaut robot all fixed up and ready. So apparently, according to my friend um, Zotclear65, these actually belong to a robot called Super Astronaut, Attack Martian, and a whole lot of other ones. So a bunch of them actually have this chest, and the one that this one has, yes, it doesn't belong to him. But since I do not really, I don't have anything to fit in that spot, and I really didn't want, I didn't want to leave it empty, so I just did my best fitted them in. Uh, there isn't a rod going through them, I just tied them in with like these, uh, with this like wire tie. And it holds on pretty nicely. He does have the original light bulb still inside of him, but I added a red LED, because apparently um, that's what the, like the super astronaut and the attack martian have. Well actually no. Oh, no, the attack Martian doesn't have it, I think, but the super astronaut does. So, here he is, um, with the battery thing, I, he runs on two triple A's, because literally the triple A holder was the only one that would actually fit, the double A, the double A wouldn't fit, but once I end up, you know, feel like making the, uh, new metal battery contact for it, then that's when I'll just, I can just easily remove this, because it's just soldered, the wires are just are to the two uh, contacts inside the robot, and this is just hot glue in there, so it can easily be removed. So, here he is in action. And... I'm not sure if the LED just burnt out. Oh, nope, there it goes. So close up look. So it does kind of have a little bit of trouble walking. <clears throat> I'm not sure why that is, but if I had to guess, it might be due to the fact he doesn't really have any weight on him. Since he normally uses 2C batteries, he is extremely lightweighted, and I guess that might be something that affects him, but overall, I still like how he turned out. He's all in one piece now and fully works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and bye.